What's up? This is Mike. I play bass for the band Hinder. Uh, we got a new record coming out December 4th called Welcome to the Freak Show. Go and get it. It's good. Um, you guys are originally from Oklahoma City? Yes. Yeah, all of us are from Oklahoma. Uh, one of the guys is out from in the panhandle of Oklahoma, but everybody has a whole base in Oklahoma City. Right. Very cool. And uh, I was reading, doing a little bit of research, and I came across the... Uh, Hall of Fame, Oklahoma Hall of Fame, you guys were voted into in 2007, is that correct? Yeah, that was really cool. Um, yeah, we went down, we did an acoustic show, um, got in there as a new artist, I guess, category in the Hall of Fame, so yeah, it was, right. it was and, that, a, and that was based off of the first record? Yes, right. yeah, that was, I think, in 06, whatever. Very cool, so, congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you. Very cool. And uh, where's your tour taking you from here? Uh, tomorrow night we are in Kansas City. And then we head home for Thanksgiving or what, whatever, nice. and then we come back out in December again for a few weeks right. before cool. Christmas. The tour's been going good. People are showing up and supporting the band. Yeah, we didn't really know what to expect with the uh, acoustic show because mm -hmm. we've never done this before, and uh, we wanted to, you know, give all the fans a chance to see the new material before it's out, you know, on the on the album. And uh, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's really laid back and. You know, we interact with the crowd a lot, joke around, and just basically have a good time and play some acoustic songs. So yeah, very good. cool. That that uh, that makes for a great personal experience for the fans, which yeah, is I awesome. Think so. yeah. yeah, it's it's fun. Very cool. And one of one of the things about MusicCon is we actually want to kind of bring that to light to the fans. You know, get them a little bit more personally involved, get them face to face with the bands. Right. Is there anything missing in the industry from a fan's perspective, not from the band's perspective? One, two. Wow. Um, is there is there anything else that we could put in from, from an industry perspective that would get their attention, reignite their flame? I, I think more stuff like this. I think a lot of times uh, whenever, you know, like bands that I'm a fan of, you know, I, I, go, and, I go and watch the shows and uh, you never really get to interact with the crowds as far as like super big bands. Like they're always in arenas. You go, you watch the show, and you get filed out the door. Right. I think stuff like you know this bare bones tour is uh, is really beneficial because we get to actually you know we play the show, then we come back in and we hang out with the fans. Excellent. And we get to you know chat with people and you know have some drinks or whatever and just hang out with everybody. And I think that that is like the the biggest uh, the biggest part of music that's missing. Nobody gets to actually interact with the bands anymore. Yeah, absolutely. It's really and cut and off. Even going back, I mean, with digital media and even the CDs now, it's a lot different from the albums that we grew up with, where you had the stories and the inserts and the pictures and everything that you could kind of, right. something tangible you could put your hands on. And yeah, kinda, it's all on a little screen now. Yeah. And so it's, yeah, it's definitely changed, so you've got to figure out something to, you know, revamp the whole, the whole deal. And for new bands, what uh, advice would you give them? Is, is there anything that you've seen new bands doing wrong? in general that that could be corrected easily i don't know if i don't know necessarily if it's wrong or not but in my opinion uh you know a lot of bands are trying to get signed by the big label they're trying to you know get the record deal and all that stuff and the you know the industry has progressed so much now that you don't need a label to do you know to do music like you Record it all yourself at home with Pro Tools or whatever, you know. It's the same as going and spending thousands of dollars in a studio. Right. Just do it yourself. You don't need a label to do it. All they're going to do is take money from you. Right. So it's like if you just put it out there on the internet, there's so many avenues that you can get your stuff out there. Um, that That's probably the biggest mistake, I would think, for a new band, is trying to get that big record deal. Right. Shoot, shooting for the sky when really it's kind of right there in front of them the whole time. Yeah, all you got to do is put the work in and just do it yourself. It's changed so much that that's kind of, that's the direction it's going. So. We put out rock and roll for rock and roll fans and the new album, Welcome to the Freak Show, December 4th is coming out and there's pretty much everything on there for everybody. It's very diverse and very kind of schizophrenic, I guess you could say. It's all over the map, so go check it out. It's good. You're going to love it. Very cool. All right, everybody out there, go check out Hinder. Uh, support these guys. Great rock and roll band out of Oklahoma City. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it, I appreciate it man.